guess what Susie and I did last night. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh. You will not be able to guess right, unless I did, because I don't think I told you. Enjoyed Tuesday. a nice steak dinner together. Hold on. We went to the Hollywood Bowl and saw Dave Chappelle. You and did. Oh, you you were you, there. Oh, my gosh. You were there. You were there. We were there. We've been together for four hours now, and you That's just crazy. now sharing this yeah. information. As you know, I oh. save things for the people. I mean, come wow. on now, bro. You are the people. You're, you're my people. Wow. And I'm saving just, things for the people the who people. are also Powered my people. people. There's a lot of people. Did you get a box? Wow. What is it? What, you, what does that mean? Do I get a box? Well, I'm saying because if you like get a box, box dinner, you could have like a box dinner, and you could have taken us. Like we had nice seats. seats. That's okay. all I'm asking. We had nice seats. We had the old. The we had the old. <laughs> we had the old premium parking, best we can, because you know parking is oh, is, oh, is yeah. literally ninety yeah, percent of the battle yeah. here in Los Angeles, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. in the Hollywood yeah. Bowl. Listen, the Hollywood yeah. Bowl. For those who may not have ever been or gone, you've seen photographs of it. I was first introduced to the Hollywood Bowl as a child. Uh, in the famed Bugs Bunny episodes, where uh, where he was the the famed uh, <laughs> oh, uh, sure. Bunny Bunny who was battling the opera singer um, right. in the Hollywood Bowl, That's and he right. he then became Leopold the the conductor, <laughs> and then uh, destroyed the uh, Oscar the opera singer's career by wrecking the entire Wait, Hollywood that's Bowl. That's where that was? Yes. That's, that's the, the Hollywood, Hollywood Bowl. Bowl. I had, I I've just, seen that cartoon a hundred times. Every that's time how I was first introduced to Hollywood <laughs> Bowl. And then when Susie first uh, came, she moved out to Los Angeles before I did when she was working with Fox Sports for the regional sports report out here, Southern California regional sports report. She took me to the Hollywood Bowl. And it was just, it's an incredible spot. The when you park there, though, it's, it's it's rough. It's rough because you basically park behind another car, okay. which parks behind another, you, yeah. and so you need to situate yourself close to the 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 spot where you can just get out yourself and not wait for everybody else to come. And so we were just like two cars away from that spot. Oof. So you know, you got to hope that people are going to get get out in time to get out, so you can get out. So <laughs> that's the setup. We got there. And it, you know, it, it's the Netflix is a joke um, festival. Festival. Yeah. So the Roastmaster General Jeffrey Ross comes out first, and we adore him. Susie and I have known him for years. I mean, like he was hanging out with us when Susie took like a beach walk before Xander was born, and he's thirteen. We've yeah. known him forever, and so um, he comes out, and he's the host, and it all starts. And the, the friends are that came out of the Chappelle and Friends. Ridiculous. Leslie Jones to Michelle Wolf to Sebastian Maniscalco. Again, double good okay. for you. Uh, Earthquake is the name of the yeah, comedian. He's hysterical. I, uh, he's hysterical. I, I'd never seen him before. Yeah. Um, spectacular. Um, then out comes Jon Stewart, who I've never seen do stand up. He comes out. All right. And then after Jon Stewart. I, I don't think I'm missing anything here. After John Stewart comes um, Chris Rock. And he comes out, and the setup behind him, they had these three huge white curtains and just a spotlight underneath him, so his shadow was like uh, 50 feet tall as he was doing his act. And he comes out, and the first thing is people stand and give him a standing ovation. First thing he says is, I'm all right. <laughs> That's where he starts. I'm all right. All right. All right. He he's done, and then a couple of other acts come out, uh, dancing and mu uh, a rap a group comes out, and then Chappelle comes out, and he's wearing this black suit, black tie, and it's just a classic, like beautifully uh, pointed pocket square. This sort of stuff. I oh yeah, chain smoking and just his voice is one of the greatest voices of all time, and his. He's a genius. The guy is an absolute comedic genius. He is, uh, the way that he had us, everybody's in the palm of his hand. And his, his act is, there's not enough pluses next to the A. A plus, 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 plus. And I understand, you know, what he uh, says for a lot of people is some, it's tough to take. But it's comedy. This is a comedy act, okay? And so, um, He's done, and he says, thank you, good night. And as soon as he says, thank you, good night, Susie and I get up, and we do the L.A. thing. Oh. We get the hell out of there. Oh, wow. And had no idea until this morning. What happened? That um, somebody got on stage and attacked him, jumped on stage and tackled him, and, you know, apparently dragged off the stage, 
and got the ever-loving tar beaten out of him. <laughs> and by all reports, it was an A-list group of people who beat the tar out of this person. But all I know is I heard as we were leaving Chris Rock's voice and then the entire bowl breaking out in hysterical laughter. Oh, man. And that's when Susie and I looked at each other and said, should we have left? You know, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but this is an L.A. sports moment where people miss yeah. out the Kirk Gibson's 1988 home run. And apparently, you know, as Chris Rock, we heard him say, was that Will Smith? That's yeah. he came back out from backstage and said, was that Will Smith? Good line. And so now we understand, though, as we were waiting to get out of the parking lot, one of the reasons why we were delayed is because an ambulance was coming in and Susie's like, is that an ambulance coming in? Oh we had no idea what the ambulance was for and it was to remove the person who had jumped on the stage wow. and tackled Dave Chappelle. Oh my gosh. As we're watching fire trucks come in and a, an ambulance and we're sitting here going, I hope what? somebody's okay. And we found out it was somebody who jumped on the stage. And was not okay. And was most certainly God. not okay. Stopped. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they beat, got him. They beat him like he yeah. stole something. Yeah. And I cannot believe. Wow. Now, I, I, again, I will just say this. It's what I said after Will Smith jumped on the stage and slapped Chris Rock, is that this is now a dangerous time for comedians and comics that now if you don't like what they are saying, you can feel compelled or safe, even though Will Smith has been banned for 10 years. And, and, and Chappelle even talked about this last night in his act about who Will Smith is oh. from just talking about what he's done and his incredible accomplishments where he came from in Philadelphia and what he's done and his accomplishments as a rapper turned star, turned movie star that has made hit after hit after hit and 10 minutes before he receives the greatest award for that endeavor he jumps out and he slaps chris rock which he called in his way uh, it, as he puts things so perfectly a weird choice is how he described <laughs> it yeah. and just in his voice you know with his his timber and his voice that's a weird choice and it was just hilarious but also sad right Sad. Yeah. Not knowing that he was now going to be in the role of Chris Rock a half an hour later, and whoever was jumping out of the out of the crowd jumped out of the crowd and attacked him. Mm -hmm. And I do not agree with his stance on transgender people. I know many of them. I know people whose families are um, supportive and also ripped apart. And it's not something that's. You know, funny, but this is comedy and comedy should be a safe space. And if you don't like what the man is saying, you can protest. You can, by the way, not buy a ticket. Susie and I can personally attest that being in that building last night was not inexpensive. Yeah. <laughs> you put money in Dave Chappelle's pocket to what? Hop on stage and go jump at him? I mean, this is serious business. I understand what what somebody is upset with Dave Chappelle about is life and very serious. And their lives, they might feel, are endangered by his comedy. But to jump on the stage and go attack him? What the hell's going on? Yeah, That's what I thought at the time when Will Smith jumped out, is you're now giving license to a whole bunch of people to go up and slap a comedian and, and hurt somebody? Like, this is, you know, a joke. This is, these, these are, this is comedy. There was a, another comedian last night um, whose name uh, now escapes me. He's a, it was a Brit. He was very funny. Jimmy... Oh, Carr. Jimmy Carr. Yep. Right. He came out and he was... To say he was uh, He's very funny. blue yeah, and yeah. cancelable, <laughs> everything coming out of his mouth, that was his thing. It's like, really let's see if these things offend you enough for me to cancel you. Is that... He's a good roaster. Is that, is that he, his, he, he said, you know, somebody got upset with him for some of the comedy he said. And he goes, it's a joke. I don't mean it. 
And then the response to Jimmy Carr was, well, you know, you know, you you you've hurt me enough. And he said, well, now you understand when I say something that I don't mean it like you can understand that I'm not actually I'm not botching what he said, but he basically said something along the lines of you now understand that I don't mean what I say. It's called a joke. It's comedy. And I, I, I just can't believe we're now jumping out of stands and in, in, in doing that. Richie, the difference between Will Smith doing it and everyone else is, at the end of the day, Will Smith got an award, right? The next guy that did it got put in an ambulance. And that is, Will Smith was the exception, not the rule. Well, Will you Smith try- is also banned from the Oscars for yeah, 10 and, years. And that's fine, but I'm saying he got away pretty much scot-free. But you're not Will Smith. And if you try that, what happened to this dude last night is going to happen to you. And Uh, this dude walked out with his elbow facing the opposite way and, you know, he lumped up. He looks like Rocky Dennis from Masks today, I'm sure. Like, that's just a, just a, be very aware, people. Don't do this. Apparently the guy that jumped on stage had a knife. Had a replica gun. Uh, Yeah, you go on social media, you'll see his picture in, uh. I, I promise you. Look, that's the way I, 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 like I said, I do not agree with his stance. You know, with his. Um, I, I don't even know if it's his stance or not. I mean, but you can't jump on stage and 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 go at a comic. Mm-hmm. Well, we missed all of it last night. Why would Watching, you? Leave? How like how how early? Because I thought it was over. Like how much time would you say? It was late. It was it was three. It, it you know. It's three and a half hours. hours. Like yeah. it was like twenty to eleven. Oh, okay. We got there at six. How much you time got did a you sitter at home? And it's just like, okay, we saw his whole act. Yeah. He said, "Thank you, good night." We got up. How much time would you say passed from the time you left to when you think the when incident we, happened? Well, it was the time when we left till we saw an ambulance mm-hmm. arrive was about ten minutes. Oh, so it was qu- okay. Man, <laughs> ambulance man. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.